Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can calculate Cohen's W using RStudio with an R kernel of uh, 4. Point version 4.2. Um, Cohen's W is an effect size measure that you could use for a chi-square goodness of fit test. Uh, for more information check out my website. To show you how it can be calculated I first need to load some example data. So that's this first line. Just hit Control enter and now I have some of the data. I can show you a little bit what the data looks like. It just has one field for gender and one for marital status and I'm interested in the marital status for the purpose of this video. I'm going to create first a frequency table so we can have a bit of a impression of what's going on there and as you can see there were for example 972 people who indicated to be married. Now I will be needing the sum of those frequencies and I'm going to store that as n. So that's going to be 1941. And I'll need the chi-square value. So for that I can use the chi-square test. Um, I'm not going to be using any corrections and specifically I need the statistic. And I don't actually need the name of that. And I'm going to store that under uh, chi2, short for chi-square. Um, if you want more information on how this test actually works and how you can do more with it, I have a separate video on that. For the purpose for this video, I just need that chi-square value. Apparently it's 1249 and something. Now Cohen's W is fairly straightforward. It's the square root out of the chi-square value divided over the sample size. And I can actually print that to the console and that gives us our uh, W of 0.80. Now Cohen actually gives a few uh, rules of thumb to interpret this. He uses 0 0.1, 0 0.3 and 0 0.5 as thresholds. So if I simply use a longer if with uh, else ifs, this can uh, tell me that 0 0.8 can be considered a large. Now if you don't want to do any calculations, you could use the R companion library. You will first need to install it if you've never used it before and then you can load that library and you can simply use Cohen W on those frequencies. So if I run this it should give me the same result again 0 0.8022 which is the same as we saw earlier. Alright and that's how you can determine Cohen's W using R. I hope this video was helpful. 